In vitro fertilization, or IVF, was originally designed for patients who did not have fallopian tubes or had blocked fallopian tubes. In IVF, eggs or oocytes are retrieved from the ovaries. And typically this is done after the patient has received medication to allow the ovaries to produce multiple follicles. Follicles are the structures in the ovary that contain the eggs. We then take the sperm, add the sperm to the oocytes or eggs in the lab, and that's where fertilization occurs in the laboratory. IVF gets its name from that process, fertilization in vitro. Following that, after fertilization has occurred, the embryos, which are the result of the egg and sperm fertilizing, the egg being fertilized, after that the embryos are grown in culture for three to five days. And after that period of time, we're able to pick the best quality embryos and then transfer the embryos into the uterine cavity. And although initially IVF was designed for patients that had blocked fallopian tubes, now we use in vitro fertilization for many different conditions, including severe male factor, and a good number of our patients have otherwise unexplained infertility. The interesting thing about in vitro fertilization is that it's both therapeutic, that it, is, it allows patients to get pregnant with a very high degree of success, but in addition, the process of IVF is diagnostic because it tells us things about the oocyte or egg quality as well as the embryo quality. Like all of our treatments with infertility care, the times that when patients are successful, it's a wonderful experience. It's wonderful for the patients, wonderful for the physicians, wonderful for our staff. But one of the things that is most fascinating about uh, in vitro fertilization is that we start out with a sperm that we can see. We start out with an oocyte that we can see. Patients see the embryos, and that, that we call them the first baby pictures. And then to see the initial embryo see a pregnancy in the uterus, see the pregnancy in the uterus with a heartbeat, and then when they bring the children in, it's really remarkable.